How did one congressman go from Congress to prison and back? Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is a man named Matthew Lyon, aka The Spitting Lion. Now Matthew Lyon's story is pretty hilarious, but let's start from the beginning. He came to the United States, or soon to be United States, at 15 years old as an indentured servant, but he worked extra jobs and was able to purchase his freedom after just five years of service. From there he would move to Vermont and start a life, and there he joined the Green Mountain Boys, the now famous Green Mountain Boys, who were led by Ethan Allen and uh, Seth Warner. Now, he served throughout most of the war with the Green Mountain Boys, and after which he became a leading resident of Vermont, establishing several mills and opening up a print house where he published newspapers. By 1797, he was now about 47 years old, and Matthew Lyon was elected to the United States House of Representatives. He went to the House of Representatives and seemed to do a good job, but while he was there, there was a debate about another founder, William Blount, and this was a separate conversation in itself, but Congress was deciding whether or not they should remove Blount from that body. And people took sides, and well, a man named Roger Griswold decided he wanted to approach uh, Matthew Lyon and discuss a resolution to this issue. Now, Matthew Lyon was sitting there, and Griswold came up behind him and started talking to him. And apparently Lyon just kind of ignored him. Now, this isn't very nice, of course, but it's nothing too offensive. But apparently it really got under Griswold's skin, and Griswold called Lyon a scoundrel. Now, as I've said before on this channel, I might use the word scoundrel today and you don't think much of it, but back then, calling someone a scoundrel was one of the most offensive things you could say to a person. So hearing this, Lyon does decide to respond. He stands up and turns around and spits in Griswold's face. Then as now, spitting in someone's face was unacceptable. Now... Lion quickly earned the nickname The Spitting Lion, which is hilarious, but Griswold was not happy about this, and the next day he returned to, the, to Congress uh, with his cane. We well, usually used a cane to walk, this time he used it to swing about, about Lion's head and shoulders. He literally started attacking Lion in Congress. Lion, for his part, ran to the fireplace and grabbed some tongs, and they started beating at each other with these metal objects in the middle of Congress. And it took several representatives to get involved to separate the two. Now, they were separated. Uh, the following day, Lyon would issue both a written and oral apology to Congress. Now, he apologized to Congress for misbehaving in Congress, and allegedly, well, factually, he claimed that he allegedly didn't know Congress was in session. Now, it's kind of hard to believe he didn't know they were in session while he was there, but what's really funny about this is he didn't offer an apology to Roger Griswold for spitting in his face, which many people might get because, as we've discussed before, calling someone a scoundrel often led to a duel. So, no one was really going to defend Griswold for calling him a scoundrel any more than they were going to defend Lyon for spitting in the guy's face. So things seem to go back to normal, but Griswold's still printing things in his paper, and he prints some inflammatory things about President John Adams. And as we've discussed before, President John Adams about this time passed the Sedition Act, and Griswold, um, Matthew Lyon was taken from Congress and put in prison for about four months for sedition, for saying bad things about the president. Yes, John Adams arrested a congressperson and put them in jail for saying bad things. While Lyon was in prison, well, what do you know? He was re-elected to Congress by the people of Vermont who were not happy about the Sedition Act and even more not happy that the president took one of their Congress people and put them in jail. So Matthew Lyon went from Congress to jail right back to Congress. After his term ends, uh, he goes back to Vermont for a brief time, but Lyon decides to move out west and he moves out to uh, Kentucky, and while he's in Kentucky, he's there about two years, opens another print shop, and what do you know, he's re-elected to Congress, and he returns to the House of Representatives as a delegate from Kentucky. Now, things are not quite as violent this time, and he lives in Kentucky for quite some time. Uh, he actually uh, starts another mill, and he's hired by the government during the War of 1812 to build some gunboats for the war. Unfortunately, he never gets reimbursed by the federal government, and loses most of his money, and declares bankruptcy... But, being the intelligent guy he was, Lyon was able to actually build another fortune. And from this, he ends up moving for the last few years of his life to Arkansas, which is not 
a state we talk about very much on this channel. Not a lot of founders ended up in Arkansas, but interesting while he was there, Lyon became the federal government's factor for the Cherokee Indians. And, and a factor was essentially a merchant who could legally do business on behalf of the United States government. So even here, closing in at the end of his life, on what is most certainly the frontier, he was still working for the federal government. So that is the story of Matthew Lyon. I really hope you enjoy it. I, I highly recommend you look up more about this guy. His life is hilarious, and I can't get over some of the things I've learned about him over the years. Uh, video is a little bit longer than usual, and I apologize for that, but thank you for watching the whole thing. If you did enjoy this video, please hit like. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, and I will be back with a, another founder for you tomorrow.